welcome to milk outside a bag of milk outside a bag of milk it is a wait is it a sequel yeah it is a sequel to milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk dive into the demented and bizarre world once again and help the girl become a little happier the, the game is actually do, doing better than i was expecting it released december 16th and it was milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk was something i played not too long ago because that game released August 20th or August 26, 2020. Um, I played that. But yeah, so yeah, we got a sequel. It looks better than before and uh, it's already got overwhelmingly positive reviews. Crazily. I think the original maybe it does as well. Both games they've made have overwhelmingly positive. Well, the first game is also worth, worth, not worth, worth, uh, one dollar on Steam. So, I mean, so why, why don't you buy it? This, this game by, uh, Nikita, M uh, Milk Outside a Bag of Milk Outside a Bag of Milk is ten dollars. So, ten times the cost. We'll have to see if it's truly worth ten dollars as we get into it. So, I'm assuming the production value has increased though since the uh, first game. Hmm, interesting. I'm assuming that was maybe a recollection of the first game? The scenes looked familiar. I'm gonna assume it's just like some kind of... Oh, I think that was just the first game, I do believe, but an interestingly animated form. So, let's just get into it. It was an interesting uh, intro, though. I'm not even sure if there's multiple endings in this, too, or how expensive it is. I had to double check the page, the Steam Store page after. I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls, the ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control and track of time, spinning in a joyful dance. Hmm. Let me double check, just out of curiosity. Milk 2. The game is a sequel. The game's events begin the same moment the first game ends. Psychedelic, psychedelic narrative full of pyramid... or pyramidal... Pyramidal? Pyramidal? Verbal constructions, stylized pixel graphics, which reflect the girl's distorted perception of the world. A high variability. Each playthrough is unique, however, some dialogue lines, images, and scenes have only a small chance of appearing. You have to really get close to the girl in order to find out everything she hides, and an oppressive and viscous soundtrack. Achievement-wise, hopefully without spoiling myself, there's deaths... 
moments, I guess, in time, and perhaps a victory of sorts. But yeah, interesting. We'll see uh, if we can get all the achievements, I guess. Sometimes it's, it's so easy. I already read that. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. Depends if I can beat the game and if I can rush ahead like a visual novel or not, because this isn't built on a visual novel uh, engine like the others I played, like the kitchen. Or was it? The salad? What is it called? I can't even remember. What is the one with the vegetables? I don't even remember what it was I was playing that was like a horror game with the vegetables that talked to me. Ah, uh, Cooking Companion. Cooking Companions, that's what I was thinking about. When you think of visual novels, I usually think of engines that use what Cooking Companions had. Man, there's no more sidetracking, by the way. <laughs> I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing mockingly. Haha, ha. that's so silly. I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure of that. I break into a run and dash toward the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? I wave my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my annoying pursuers, but then I suddenly realize I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice but to break the door down. Or break the door now. If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death, but wait. Can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No, 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 I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when I, my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside, but there was a bag of milk I bought today. Sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes, I stare back. Nothing happens. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I done something that warranted it? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf, in a store, or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world, into the scary unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I only bring others trouble. I walk toward my room through a narrow corridor. I meet a familiar, formless creature at the door. It locks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling, I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. After sniffing me from head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again? I start questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. The creature squeezes my hands until my veins start bulging and I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eye should be, ignoring all pain. I've promised so many times. Stay put. Uh, the moment it says that, its claw pierces my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discernible crawling under my skin and the ring of tightly sprung sinews. But then... Then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. A white veil appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor, just like last time. But... Why... Why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up, strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell while my veins and arteries heat up, almost bursting from that pressure. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claws inside my arm. Kill me, kill me. Hysterical screams resound through the corridor in a fit of madness. The creature starts scratching my neck. Bright splashes fly everywhere, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I try to imprint where every drop fell on my memory so I could gather them all later. I need to remember, I need... A new wave of pain washes over me, everything turns pitch black in an instant. 
say it, I'll never drink milk ever again. I... Say it? I'll never drink milk ever again! Why, are we lactose intolerant? Is that it? Say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. I'll never drink milk ever again. The fuck? Maybe we're just lactose intolerant. Maybe, maybe that's it. You're frothing at the mouth. Maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know what the normal symptoms of being lactose intolerant besides having a cramped stomach or diarrhea, but you know, maybe, maybe they just drank milk and they're lactose intolerant and they keep forgetting and this is just the nightmare that they get for being milk intolerant. Lactose intolerant and then forgetting. I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room. Even the weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. Hmm? Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all the needed preparations. I've washed my face and now standing in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. And there was a time when the last minutes before I sleep were my favorite time of the day. I loved anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day for it. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool, but the dreams always slowly but surely slipped away. As if somebody fished them out of my head one after another, one after another, until nothing was left, and now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. Hmm. After finishing my face, I usually reach out for my pills, it's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately since I always swallow them as a bunch without thinking. Now I want to have a better look at it, to twirl it between my fingers, to chew on it. I'd do anything to stall for just a little bit more time. A smooth, protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky, semi-transparent film, but I can still discern its contents. So what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder and the capsule pops. Sticky bright like red liquid pours out. Filthy, filthy. The pill flies straight to the waste bin and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Next was a flat pill of the same blood red color. There was some letters printed out on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy, but it's not the type of sleep I want. That's not it at all. It's fake. No, no, no. I don't even want to look at it. The pill flies into the waste bin as well. The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides, and then I find a reason not to swallow it. I invent my own medicine instead and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in their healing effects. Hey, my neck doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my hand doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my head doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my heart doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Hey, my eyes don't hurt anymore. How come I didn't think of this earlier? This is so simple. I need to brag about it to someone right now away. But not to my mom. She'll just scold me. And then she's sure I'm already sleeping anyway. And and she's sure I'm sleeping all anyway. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something myself. Besides, I just really want to... I just want some small talk. I wonder who's going to be my conversation partner. And just me, I guess. Hey, long time no see. Damn. For some reason, she gives me... The character reminds me weirdly of... Hang on, I'm actually gonna have to look it up. It's part of the anime Doro Hidoro. Um, I can't remember the name. It's Pink Hair Girl. What was her name? Uh, I'm getting the wrong type of Pink Hair Girl. Uh, wait. Kikurage? Kikurage? Nope, that's the dog. <laughs> Got it! Ibisu. Ibisu. R the character in this somewhat reminds me of Ibisu. Different hairstyle, but for some. I don't know if it's the eyes. It just gives me a slight. Um, a slight. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Not inspiration, because it. They, they may not even know anything about the anime, but, uh, I don't know, it just makes me think about it. Long time no see. It hasn't even been an hour, dummy. You know, we're only supposed to meet once per day. Uh, let's just do everything at the top. Unless something makes me think otherwise. We have to make it... 
clear, I don't know. It hasn't even been an hour, dummy. There you go, bullying me again. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit? I'm pretty exhausted after today. No. Well then, I'm not happy either. You need to go to bed. No, you've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now, alright? I'll just stay silent until the medicine's effects wear off. How about that? You can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. Hmm? I'm so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything. And you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. I can imagine how angry you are right now. Uh, I'm all beside myself. By the way, you're the one that's useless. And pathetic. Don't even try ruining my mood. I want to have fun while we're together, alright? So you're the one calling the shots now. Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see, yeah. I... I am I really that pathetic? Uh, say something. I can feel... Tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from my chin, and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. Well, I guess if I'm going to be a douche, I might as well continue it. Hey, at least I tried. Go wash your face, then we'll decide what to do with you. Depends if me doing this path is, like, would lead me to the ending without any death or not, or if this is wrong. Never know. I'm in front of a mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery looks the walls are giving me, trying not to drown in their giggling, but then in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile, bears her teeth at me. I shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. It wouldn't have helped even if I sunk through the floor. I start counting in my mind, two squared, two by... Wait, two squared, two by two squared, a square squared, a square pyramid squared, a pyramidal structure cubed, a pyramidal structure hypercubed. I feel better. But my head is splitting apart now. How do you feel? You're mocking me, right? I'm obligated to ask you this at least a couple of times per session. <laughs> a session, huh? You don't like that word? I'm fine. No, you're not. I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I was sure I'd be able to change something after all. I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. Hmm. Well, regardless of what path this leads, if an ending or death, we'll have to find out. Is that why you throw away, threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? Undoubtedly. Moreover, it's dangerous. Huh? There's a good side to it. What's that? Wouldn't that mean you're getting better? Nonsense. Medicine is something you're supposed to take, not toss away. Stupid. It's so stupid. And why did you do that? I felt like I'd be able to fight it on my own. It's true, this pain subsided for a little bit at a time, but now I feel it triple in force. It hurts so bad. Just drink your medicine already, or I'll stop talking to you. No, don't abandon me. Dejected, I reach out for the shelf with my medicine. I swallow the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating. Oh, can I go back? <laughs> God damn it. And yet my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of coagulated blood and transparent coating travel down my esophagus, scratching its soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worsens my pain. I just want to think about something so repulsive. I just don't want to, rather. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This worries you much more than pain. I guess. I toss the last pill in the air and catch it with my mouth. Hmm. I lie on the floor, I look at the ceiling, I can clearly hear water running in the pedal metal pipes up there, I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head. I'm not afraid of that at all, I can't imagine my death coming from above, rather it's rearing its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose can focus. To lose focus, I must try to say a different word. But who's that on the left? Uh, something on the left. Looks like a snowman head. Do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough of talking.
What do you want, then? I just want to lie down for a bit. Even if the ceiling is bound to collapse, it won't be today. Can you stay silent, please? I need to get my thoughts in order. Just, like, do whatever I think is bad choices at the get-go. We'll see. I carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lay them out on the ceiling in order. Orderly rose. Now it's on my... Now it's my cork board. In hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off with my hand, annoyed, and start over. I can't do it. You can always imagine your thought as something small and swarming like cockroaches. Ew, I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. Hmm. Fireflies, I see. I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts, they're fireflies now, start whirling all over the ceiling of their own accord, forming whimsical patterns. I can only observe them and wait for the right moment. It's just, that moment doesn't come. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling makes me start losing my patience. Enough, I hate you. No, so much for the fireflies. How about little opossums? Those are cute. They can't get annoying. They barely make any noise. I spring to my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job. Now start over. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. So that doesn't bother you? Should it? Yes. And what do you want me to do, then? I don't know. It's up to you. Heh <laughs> You're at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyway. Please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. Aww. That's cute. Fine. I raise my eyes to look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all of my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. <laughs> what if I start staying silent now? I glance around the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as Firefly to hide here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. What were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. Instead of asking silly questions, help me find my fireflies. To be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. I guess we'll have to tear the whole place apart. No, 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 and no. If I make even the smallest messes in here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their place, and that's it. Why? Well, I mean, there's a reason for it. I mean, people like to have a sense of control, so they like to have things stay in the exact same spot, or sometimes there'll be people that do things such as, uh, you know, people that have anxiety, and they, like, before going to bed, they'll have to have some kind of routine where maybe they'll flick their bedroom light switch on and off, seven times, ten times, or a prime number, or an odd number of times, just to feel in control of the situation, because their mental, uh, I don't know, mental fortitude is, you know, grasping at straws, basically. So, it's understandable. Are you trying to come up with reason right now? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Who, me? No, no, of course not. I think you forgot to uh, put up your mind block. I can see through you. Rude. Alright then, so we need to find a bunch of tiny insects inside a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch. Yeah. Oh, my oh my. I have an idea. Last time becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a point-and-click adventure game character. You know, those games have moments when you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. It sounds so fun. And what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make... It even more interesting. This is so childish. You want to know what's the best part? You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. Oh yes. I start panicking as soon as I get in multiple choice situation. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want me that? I want that happen. You're such a handful. Uh, you've already proven that you're able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road? 
Uh, do what you want. I go to the middle of the room and look around where I... Uh, where would I hide if I were a tiny firefly? Ah, oh, this is so thrilling. My heart gets warmer from the pleasant anticipation. Hey. What? Look down. I look down after a moment, a small ball of light and warmth crawls out from under my sweater. Wowee! There's smoke coming from your clothes. Whatever. Hmm. Little firefly. I carefully grab the firefly. It's pleasantly scorching to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was an order, the firefly slowly drifts up, circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. It tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. Yeah. Hmm. I'll probably leave it here, though, after I read whatever comes next. Oh, actually, it is point and click now. Well, that's suspicious. Hmm, there's a lot of things to click on, though. Huh, well, the game definitely is more expansive and detailed than the first game. So, we'll see, though. I'll still decide and say whether or not I think it's worth $10. I'm going to amount that by the experience of the first 25 minutes that I've been playing. I'd say quite possibly. Um, I do find it kind of weird that the when you launch the game, it is titled Boobom. I'm not sure why it's called Boobom. It's it's a, it's a strange title. When, wait, what is it called? Wait, milk. Milk inside a bag of milk. I mean, you know, Boobom is not an acronym for the title of the game, but oh well. Anyways, I'll leave it here. I hope you enjoyed. And look forward to more as I read and I don't know, read this. I mean, is it a visual novel? It, it sort of is. But now it's point-and-click adventure. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Big Ruffalo Scarver. Hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Rome.